in the floodlands of the Niger Delta, people have been building their houses with clay for centuries. Raw earth is not just the oldest building material in Africa, it also plays an important role in ancestral worship. In the rainy season, when the river Barney floods its banks, it's like an island. Jene, the pearl of West Africa, a town made entirely of clay. For centuries, it has been a destination for travelers, traders, and religious followers. Mosquée of Jenny is the largest mud brick building in the world. But clay is transitory, it needs to be maintained. Every year at the beginning of April, an ancient ritual takes place. Because the heavy rains of the rainy season have washed away the outermost layer of clay on the mosque, it has to be coated again from top to bottom. The annual clay battle is also a contest among the 12 quarters of Jenné. The first task is to get as much clay as possible from the river to the square in front of the mosque on donkey carts or in straw baskets. All the men and boys join in. Spurred on by drumming and piping, they all want their quarter to outdo the others. The work begins in the early hours and has to be completed by 9 o'clock in the morning before the rising heat dries out the clay. Banco is the name of the traditional building material made of clay, rice bran and cow dung. It's the job of the smallest to mix the banco with water so that the paste remains pliable. Volunteers climb like spiders to great heights, armed with trust in God and magic amulets known as Grigri, which are believed to protect them from accidents. It's the girl's responsibility to keep supplying the water. The work on God's house is considered a communal task. The mosque itself is considered the soul of the town and is looked after with selfless abandon. The palm beams protruding from the facade have two functions. They stabilize the building, but they also serve as scaffolding for the restoration work. The 
roof of the mosque is tackled last. At half past eight in the morning, the race against time has been won. The right-hand side of the mosque was completely re-coated before the big heat arrived. Other parts of the town will take over the work on the left-hand side of the mosque in two weeks, but joint celebrations are already underway. Mud brick buildings are works of art for generations to come. They need to be constantly maintained by the inhabitants.